YouTube. What's up? Today, as the title says, this will be about skincare, affordable drugstore skincare, meaning CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, all of those affordable places you can go to um, get these skincare products. Um, usually, my regimen is morning and night. Some products vary based on the day or night, of course. Um, and let's see. Again, all of these are just drugstore affordable, so... My skin is more uh, on the dry side. Um, I can get oily sometimes up in my T-zones, very seldom, but my, my skin is super, super, super dry. I mean, like I used to could just like, okay, super ugly, but like scrunch up my face and then it would just form like dry patches on my face. So like I've come a long way. So let's just get into it. Um, usually say so you have the cleanse, um, toners serums moisturizers spfs um and i will go more into those in detail on another video this is just usually again just the regimen that i do um pre-cleanse most of the time i'm not wearing makeup but if i am either way and that's where i was going with that either way i use the micellar um garnier micellar water either way with or without makeup um, I use the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil, which I did just swap to Dermalogica, but this is, like I said, for all intents and purposes of the video, this is a um, drugstore affordable, so Dermalogica is not on that drugstore list. So anyway, I've already pre-cleansed my skin just because all of my equipment is downstairs. I didn't want to have to take it upstairs to the bathroom. So the pre-cleanse and the exfoliating is already done. I'll show you guys the steps from toner and on. But again, went in with the micellar with or without makeup. I go in with the micellar water. Um, I use these pads. I used to use just the cotton rounds at first, but um, the way I like to hold my pad, like with two hands, kind of lock it in. The way I like to do that, those smaller pads tend to roll up. So I got this super large um, pads, um, premium cotton pads. I use those. Like I say, I'll go in with the micellar water with one of those. And then um, I dry my face. I like to hit all my products on a dry face. It just works better. The product uh, absorbs better. So again, clean my face with the water. That will be my double cleanse because now I'm using that go in dry face with this um 60 second rule i do the what is it the um fresh prince song west philadelphia born and raised you don't know that song this ain't even a step you need to be on you need to go back some um so yeah i do that 60 seconds rinse that off dry face now that we have dried my face i'm going in with the toner so because today I exfoliate it, I do not exfoliate every day. Do not exfoliate your skin every day. And I'm also switching from a physical exfoliant to a chemical exfoliant. And again, I will do a more detailed video about these things. But um, the, the physical exfoliants, the, those beads tend to scratch up my face. I notice little red marks. Even if you go in light, I notice the marks. So this was what I was using, the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost exfoliant I, the whole Neutrogena Hydro Boost line is just amazing okay I stand by I guarantee it okay um but yeah so I did exfoliate today now when I exfoliate I do not use an exfoliating toner um so yeah I said all that to say I would usually use my Pixi Glow Tonic and I only got this little baby size because my big size didn't come in yet but that's the Pixi glow tonic um and this is an exfoliating toner so again if i'm exfoliating my skin i do not exfoliate with the toner together i try not to do too much exfoliating in the same day um so because of that i am going in and again these are all drugstore affordable but i'm mentioning the products that i use now as opposed to drugstore, but I started out drugstore it's all about trial and error getting into what you know your face 
um, type is for if you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, if you have combination skin, you know, you kind of get um, a feel for your skin type, what works best for you, uh, what didn't make you break out or, you know, um, so those type of things of which you want to go through, just like makeup, like I say, trial and error. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Toner. I need a hydrating toner for the days that I'm not using an exfoliating toner. And this one is now being replaced with the, um, Pixie Milk Tonic. It's a hydrating toner. Um, but again, this is all drugstore friendly, so that's what we're talking about today. So now, like I said, I'm freaking rambling. Uh, I go in with the hydrating toner on the days that I exfoliated my exfoliated as opposed to the exfoliating toner. Those would be for days I don't. So I just put some. If, I, if you catch me looking down, it's a mirror right here, so I'm just kind of doing both. Just put all over my face and it's just oh, it's so soothing it cooling and just and the tone it just basically tones your skin put that ph balance back in and just level things out um if you are not using the toner in your skincare hunting get with the program all right just just get with the program um so when you when you tone when you use your tone um as much as you clean, you always still see something on your pad. Humble yourselves, baby. Humble, okay? So your pad should be still pretty white. As you can see, I'm white. So that's a good thing when cleaning. We ain't going there, all right? We're just not going, whatever. We're not going to go there. So after your toner, you want to go on with your serums. Now, when I first started, look, I'm still a product junkie of, a junkie of this. And let me just say, I did not have a good skincare regimen before um, quarantine. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I would do a little cleaning to my face, mostly maybe some Dove sensitive skin uh, wash on my face sometimes. And that's it. I'm not even going to lie. But, like, this just really got me in tune to myself, giving me more time to just do me. Even as a mother, I'm finding care. And y'all going to get y'all gonna give me fit give it to me that's it so anyway um yeah take time for yourself so let's just keep going because I, I tend to ramble um after the toner you want to go in with your serum so like I said I, I would I I am a serum junkie I've started with like at least five to seven serums alone and I cut it down so I was using hydrating and illuminating and toning and vitamin c and collagen like I was just using so many things and now I just cut it down to a few um hydrating always i'm always going to use a hyaluronic acid might use a glycolic both of both of those will come from the ordinary but again this is drugstore video so um a few that's recommended the hyaluronic acid i've been using the hyaluronic acid with b3 <clears throat> um is from olay and it's like super good it's super hydrating um olay also has the perfect tone serum with vitamin c and b3 um, like I said, all of those are just awesome sauce. Neutrogena also has a hydrating um, serum. I should have brought that down here. I'm not running upstairs. Forget that. Okay. Um, I'll throw one in here. I'll put a picture right there. I know how to do that now. All right. So I throw a picture in there, but let's just get down to the serum. So, okay. Um, the hydrating. This comes in a little tube this bottle like a spongebob i just apply some on my face like so i try not to put the um applicator directly on my skin just because i already have other products on my face so i don't want to contaminate anything like i said if you see me looking down i got the mirror right here um, I don't want to be too long on this video, but I do want to show you exactly how I get into things. And I don't get into things without my jade roller, baby. Let, let me, let me, let me tell y'all about this jade roller here. Let me tell you about this girl here, this thing here. Let me tell you what she do. Okay. This is supposed to like snatch your face and conform it. If I can find that picture... Um, a while back, I will show you guys the difference. It's probably going to be up here somewhere. Um, between before I was using the J Roller in my skincare and after. Like, let me see if I can do like a side profile. Yup. Okay. Kids crying. That's my cue again, right? Okay. So you see how like 
it goes down. Then you got that little hump right there. Then mm, 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 look at that. 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 You see how it's like a little line. Then down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, girl, I am getting snatched, y'all. Snatch. Okay. Anyway, so again, I use this um, when I do my serums. I'm going to go through a few of it for y'all today, just so you can see. This is the Physician's Formula 24 Carat Gold Collagen Serum. And yes, it has um, pieces of gold in it. Okay, pieces of gold. And so, this is what my husband will call some of the bougier um, serums <laughs> that I have. But, you know, whatever. And like I said, I like the stippler men. Don't rub down and don't drag on the neck. Just stipple them in. Take your roller. And this is just, it's just a soothing thing. Don't, you know, roll up. Get the circulation in. Take your time and just, just roll. I give some definition right up in there to them cheekbones. Go on down. It's almost like you contour them. Snatching up that, snatching up them bounds, honey. Making that face pop. Okay? Making that face pop. Pop. Okay, use this for the eye portion. And um, it may seem like I'm being rough, y'all, but I promise this is just oh, the best thing that you can do. Just take a couple minutes out of your day to do this. It's just so soothing. Soothing. Okay, I don't know. Is that from that cotton pad? Okay, let's keep going. So then I have the Neutrogena Bright Boost Illuminating Serum. And we're talking about brightening, not whitening at the play, okay? There is a difference between brightening and trying to physically, like, lighten your face. Oh, oh, got it. See, this is a weird angle trying to do this down here and look at y'all. It's like, that girl don't know what she's doing. She don't know. She don't know what she's doing. It just feels so. It just feels so good, y'all. Look, like a, sk a girl's skin is glowing. Okay, glowing. And I use a few different products. I use a few different products. Um, far as like lip scrubs and lip oils, I really got into the Burt's Bees, like. I really love Burt's Bees products. They are really good. I slept on Burt's Bees for a while. But you know what? I ain't sleeping no more, honey. I am fully awake, okay? Drinking coffee. I ramble, y'all. I ramble. Um, Yeah, so I, did, I do a lip scrub every other day. And I was using the Burt's Bees conditioning lip scrubs. Come in this little thing here. But I recently got hip to Bliss um, Fabulous Lip Sugar Scrub <clears throat> and Polish. It's really, really good. Really, really good. So I use that. And then for conditioning, that is the uh, Burst Bees Overnight Intense Lip Treatment. It comes in the same little applicator thing like this. I love that. But I also love the Burt's Bees um, Hydrating Lip Oil. Like, it, it is so moisturizing. And because I've already done my scrub... Put a little bit of that on y'all it just feels like like heaven like heaven on earth it's just heaven on earth okay let's keep going with the serums because i am getting off off topic off you're getting off topic off okay i'm gonna have to change my angle on this because between my head keep falling and trying to angle this so y'all can see clearly i'm not a youtuber right okay we gonna get there we gonna get there you know how people come up Okay, people can come up. The fit? The fit? Like old dog would say. <laughs> Y'all not follow him, follow him. Um, but yes. <sighs> this is just like look at this. Hold on, let me hold, let me get some good angles. Let me get some good angles so y'all could see this snatch. Oh, baby, y'all better get you a J roll and stop playing. Uh -huh, look at this born, born this way contour, baby. That's where the contour go. My face already telling you where it go. Already got snatch features. Y'all better love this melanin. You, you don't like that brown sugar? <sighs> this is 
bitch talk too much. I know. I know. Please, please mute me <laughs> if you don't want to hear me talk. I cannot do voiceovers. I, I literally have to talk with y'all. If I do voiceovers, I'd be forgot some shit, whatever. All right. Let's do some eye stuff. Now, I just ordered some Tasha. Tasha? Tatcha eye cream, which again, none of these things, none of my new products are drugstore affordable. Not the uh, the Mare, uh, the Mario Badescu, like none of the things I have now um, that I'm waiting on is drugstore friendly, but I didn't start off that way. And that's my point of this video. Everything don't have to be expensive to work. And, and, and you can see my face has clearly cleared up a lot with just a drugstore, so don't knock the hustle, baby. Going with the ring fingers, they say these are the lightest. And see how I ramble, I ain't even tell y'all what I use for my, for my eyes. The Garnier Clearly Brighter Anti-Puff Eye Roller. I use this, and it's almost like the J Roller where it has a little roller on it, like this one, for your eyes. And I take like a pea size of the Bliss X Glocision Radiance Boosting Eye Cream with vitamin C. Importante. Uh, Y'all don't look at my, my uh, quarantine nails. So just kind of going with that, like I say, with the ring fingers. Now to moisturize. Like I said, Neutrogena and their Hydro Boost. I absolutely love. I'll never stop using it. So one of my all-time faves, which I will never stop again is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. I freaking love this. Okay, so this is probably the dupe to the uh, Tasha um, Hydro Water Cream or whatever. It's just like, let's see with a camera. It's so light and fluffy. Oh, that's my cue again. It's just so light and fluffy. Uh, I can never do without this, y'all. I can't describe this to you. You literally just have to get this. Try it, please. If you don't like it, let me know. Okay, not sure where these accents coming from. I'm doing way too much, but you get the point. Then I'm also going with the Bliss Exclusion Super Rich Moisturizer for dewy, radiant skin. For me, dewy is a must. I love matte. Don't get me wrong. Oh God, this feels so good. Just feels so good, y'all. Just mm. oh, she real ugly, ain't she? <laughs> okay, let me stop playing with y'all. But no, it just feels like oh, it's just mm, fluffy. It smells good. It's soft. It's hydrating. My face just feels the ultimate best. Okay. Um, let me just say I need some more of these. The, this is cool. Got this one from CVS, but, um, I use these hair wraps just to keep my hair back while I'm doing makeup or, or, or uh, face regimens. But this one right here, I kept figure, trying to figure out why I keep getting so hot. I'm just sweating up in it, in it. It was this. This thing is hot as hell. I order one for my girl. You know, I'm trying to do the black own thing, supporting my own. And I have to order another one because my grandmother lost it. But I need something because this is making me way too hot. And see how I'm off topic again? Okay. Um, so, yeah, y'all. That's what I use. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video about me having seborrheic dermatitis. Um, when I was going to the dermatologist, what they gave me, they prescribed for me was something that had um, steroids in it. And I did not want to do that. I knew it was something I, I can change in my diet. And the diet is another... Um, video I'll definitely post up soon about the weight loss after the two kids. I was 225. I can't get out of the 120s now, right? Okay, who thought they would ever complain about that? But I will definitely do a, a in-depth video about that soon. Um, but anyway, I was saying all that to say this is sometimes what I use in my skincare regimen. Once I changed my diet, I noticed that I did not need that cream and this over-the-counter cream worked if I had any flare-ups. So I don't, it's called Exoderm. So I don't use it right now because I haven't been having any, having any flare-ups, thank God. Um, I told you about the hair thing sometimes, but it hasn't been affecting my face. But this is part of my skincare routine if and when the flare-ups happen. And this, so... This has always been right here on my face. 
but I'm not sure if it's a birthmark. I've noticed since I've been using the cream I'm about to show you guys that it's been a lot lighter. This is like the lightest it's been and this probably still look dark to y'all, but like it was a lot darker and it's always been there. So um, I don't want to do too much of it because I don't know if it's a birthmark and I just start messing up my skin in that area, but I have noticed it's been a bit lighter. Y'all see that hater trying to come in? I wanted to eat some bacon and look it's showing that's why i don't do it um but yes your face will definitely tell on you anyway ambi this skin cream um for there we go for normal skin because that's all i have normal oily i think something like that but um i use this with a q-tip sometime and i literally just blot it in this area and so i'll use that on my spots but i haven't had any this bitch is too close. <laughs> I haven't had any dark marks lately or, you know, um, breakouts. So I, I just came close to show you that that's where I usually would use them. And any dark marks I see is, and it, they, it works. Like, it really works. So, um, yes, I will give you guys another updated one when all the new products come in, but it won't be drugstore affordable. Um, oh, yeah. Before I go, let's get into some masks, some sheet masks, some just mask in general. So again, um, my, f my face is super, super dry. So I use all hydrating products. Anything I use is to hydrate, um, just to hydrate, really. I, I use other products to do other things, but but it has to have some type of hydration. And the majority of the time, it's something that's hydrating is what I'm trying to say. This hair is not one to do right. All right. Um... So just a few things I use. One that I stand by, I keep telling y'all, Neutrogena. Get into it. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. The, these masks, like just everything Neutrogena Hydro Boost is just spot on A1. Um, I use the mask at least seven days in a week, at least five days. I, I try to maybe every other day put a mask on and... I manage one of the CVS out here in Maryland, so I always make sure I stock up on these. But if they don't have them, Walmart has them, um, uh, Walgreens has them, Target, I believe, have them. Just any any drug local drugstore-friendly location, you'll find these. And I just, I empty out the shelves. I just buy them all. Um, I stand by those. I'm trying a few different ones. Neutrogena also has the deep, uh, deep clean, deep clean purifying mask. I've been using a few of those lately too. Um, Burt's Bees, like I say, Burt's Bees is a really good company. I did not know how good they were, so I've been trying a few products by them too. Um, the Toxifying Charcoal Sheet Mask. Don't look at my crummy nails. Um, the Burst Bees Moisturizing Lip Mask. Rejuvenating Eye Mask. I mean, like, I, I do it all. I have some peach slices the, um, for, like, Korean skincare. Their lines, they have um, sheet masks. They have some calm, rejuvenating tea tree, aloe, green tea. Like, I just have so many that I use. I always try to use a sheet mask. On Sundays... Okay, Sundays is total self-care. Once a week, baby. You better know I was... Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Try to do a little effect on here. I see. Okay, now. Nah. But really, um, <laughs> this is going to be your key. Sis, this what they this what they doing, sis. This what they using right here, okay? This for the just use it. All right. Um, so you mix this. They, they say you can use it with water, um, but it's more effective if you use uh, what is it called? Um, those one of them locks. I uh, when I had um, I had an undercut, and I cut my locks. I save them and I put them back, reattach them. So that's what that lump is right there. We just had our lock making this conversation. Okay, don't come for me, y'all. All right. Um, see, I keep getting off topic. Maybe I do need to do voiceovers, but you all over the place. Um, you can mix it with water, but it's preferred to do it with 
vinegar okay the apple cider vinegar with the mother the mother i don't know why or what's so important about that but the mother okay get the one with the mother brag b-r-a-g-g -G, something like that i'm being i'm i'm not being facetious seriously for some reason you're supposed to get the apple cider vinegar with the mother so don't go to the dollar store because they don't have that one um Mix it in a bowl. You are not supposed to use any metal. It's not supposed to come in contact with metal because I guess it re reacts to the metal in a way that it's not effective anymore. So I either use one of these brushes, which I noticed the metal tip. So I stopped using it, even though you can, you can really apply it at the tip. So you don't really touch this portion, but whatever. So I got one of these and these doohickeys are, okay, I'm really been crushing it, right? But these doohickeys, are made for applying face masks it's rubber here so it really just goes on nicely i don't want to touch my face clearly i just did my my whole skincare but goes on smooth seamless you keep it on for i want to say they said 20 minutes 30 minutes if you are five to two let me stop faking i meant let me stop just read exactly okay so five to ten for sensitive 15 to 20 for regular i always do five to ten I'm not even gonna try to see what my face will look like without it. Your face will get a little red, but that's from the benign, benign clay. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't want to butcher anything. Bentonite clay. The stuff in it, okay. You don't wanna leave your face too long. <laughs> and it definitely will make your face a little red, but that is it's part of it it's supposed to happen don't you know don't be alarmed you will be okay and you then you get used to it um so again i do that try to remember to do that on sundays once a week going with some face masks i even got uh foot foot pills um lip masks just honey take care of yourself you cannot take care of the kids you can't take care of hubby or boyfriend or mom or dad or uncles cousins nephews nieces not you take care of yourself first self-care is important i can't stress that enough you cannot be good or do good for others if you are not or doing good for yourself you um, come first and I don't want to say that in like a, a selfish way but in a way you do you must take care of yourself in order to take care of others and I am someone who takes care of a lot of people and I used to always be the one to, you know like who take care of the one who takes care of everyone you you it's you. you you need to take care of yourself okay so again thank you for quarantine that thank God yeah you know just thank him because he works in mysterious ways you you cannot foresee um, you know what what he has and what he's going to do and most of the times we can't even fathom or understand it anyway um um i've not seen is not that heard you know I, I can't think of all the scriptures right now my mind is racing but um i just thank him for it because again the these this pandemic has um shaped a lot for people it, it's it's allowed people to grow more it's allowed people to change it's allowed people to see it's allowed people to um come out of their comfort zone and, and figure out ways of doing things. It made more people become entrepreneurs. It's put more people in a position to save. I mean, it, it's put people in positions to have more self care. That, that's what I'm just, I'm just trying to say out of this entire situation that's going on, there is some good that can be taken from it is what I'm trying to ramble about. Um, but I'm going to go now because clearly I just keep on talking. I will be back um, again for another skincare video when the new products come in, but they won't be um, drugstore affordable. Bye!